Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. <laughs> my name is Maria and if you're here for the first time, hi! My name is Maria. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much for deciding to watch this video. It is gonna be all about hats and the fall winter 2020 through 2024 fashion trends. So basically what kind of hats were there on the runways? Yes, I'm wearing one of them right now, but I think this one is the most obvious choice. And it was a very, very nice choice for me as I woke up with a nice little zit like right here. So it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. If you're here for a second, third, fourth, however many times. Thank you so much for coming back. Hopefully I will not disappoint. Let's just get started. So hats throughout history have been very influential pieces of clothing. They could signify that you are part of a certain class. They were controversial sometimes. Sometimes it was controversial not to wear one. So, you know, like, they're a big deal in fashion history. Is it a super big deal right now? I don't think so, but right now it's all about bending the rules and going off of the norm. So maybe you could use a hat in order to kind of spice things up, like a baseball hat. Like, yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, a, a few fashion shows did use headwear, maybe like hair accessories in order to kind of like spice things up. And sometimes oh, designers want to bring back that artsiness using a headwear. So not all of them were meant to be worn outside. Like for instance, Tom Brown creations right here. Very interesting, very interesting. A little bit over a hundred years ago, hats had like a purpose. They sometimes told what profession the person was coming from, like a baker hat, that's exactly what bakers wore. Or like an accountant, policeman, you know, you know what I mean? Anyways, and for every occasion for ladies, they had a certain hat to wear, like a garden party. They would have a nice wide brim hat to bring some shade to them, you know? For more fancier events, it would be maybe like a pillbox hat. For men, it would be kind of like a fedora. Somebody more rich would wear maybe a top hat, while somebody more poor would wear a newsboy's hat kind of a situation. If we take a look at the fashion runways right now, we do have some kind of representations of these maybe more elegant hats that could be worn for like evening dinners, maybe going to an opera, but then taking the hat off or maybe having this very little hat thingy majiki on like in Giorgio Armani, maybe wearing something like this to a park just to bring a little bit of shade to, instead of piling on that sunscreen. In Alaya, we have these pillbox hats that I'm just obsessed with. They're so cool. They're so like the Ha! I'm like, okay, this is a hat that I would like to invest in and that's how I want to look, but I doubt I would. But anyways, let's just not get uh, too far ahead. This shape of a hat definitely is kind of a unique one. It's kind of like a kepi, but without the little visor. It also looks like a ka kazakh cap, you know, one of those furry ones from back in the day or a fez but without that little tail if we're still talking about something a little bit more classy we have some hats from balma kind of like this elegant egg shape um yeah i'm not sure how else to describe it and more of like a platter one like for sure i see like these are very elegant. So like, yeah. Would I be able to wear this out 
daily probably not and like dressing it down i don't even know like how you would do that and not look like a mushroom but anyways let's move on to something a little bit more practical a little something that we might be a little bit more used to and that those are berets i wanted to wear a beret today instead of this but then i thought no i'm gonna be a little bit more fashion forward today as a beret is very kind of a classic hat very french if you want to bring that a little bit of a interest into your outfit and become a little bit of more french like <laughs> parisian even then go ahead wear a beret and notice how they're being styled if back like five or ten years they were styled in a very quirky way the here it's more elegant it's always on a side of the head but of course depends on your preference your facial structure and maybe even your haircut and of course not everybody's hair texture will give the opportunity to wear a beret but anyways here are some examples of what we've seen on the runways like in Jean-Paul Gaultier we have really cool beret looks where they're kind of like an, a little bit of an oversized they're paired with suits i love this all leather brown look with the beret oh my gosh it looks amazing anyways next one the most wearable one of all in my opinion are the baseball caps why a sudden interest in them i mm, Mm -hmm. Okay, so baseball caps, how did they come up to the fashion industry? It's kind of like not a trinkle down, but a trinkle up effect. So instead of the fashion houses telling us, or like, oh, this is something new, wear it. The practicality of it, the maybe even certain cultural phenomenon such as baseball created the interest and then the fashion industry was like, oh, this is interesting. We might as well try something out with this. As the name suggests, baseball caps, they were invented uh, for a baseball sport for people not to be blinded by the sun during the game. And they have kind of evolved a little bit. Maybe the visor became a little bit longer to create a little bit more shadow. And maybe the logos of the teams are present on there. So more people started wearing them to show their support for the team because it's very easy on the eyes and it's like just really nice to wear during the summer months. The popularity of it took off, we started seeing them more in movies, but that's just like a very long way back I'm talking about. This time around, I think it's just to mess things up, right? Because beforehand, fashion was all like preppy and very kind of isolating. It's like, we're better than you, you know what I mean? But now we're seeing this shift of pairing things that she wouldn't have paired naturally together. Something sporty with something a little bit more even elegant. Like right now we're seeing Hermes baseball caps. They're very elegant. You wouldn't even think about baseball when you look at it. We also have some interesting ones like from Ralph Simmons here with even like a veil. We'll see a veil baseball cap. Just wait, just you wait. <laughs> We also have these, as I mentioned, going into more of a classier ones. So not just wearing sneakers and a baseball cap, but like wearing gowns with it. Like in Jean-Paul Gaultier here, we have a cape dress with this hat. We have entire gowns with baseball caps we have something else too like you can see how it is being dressed up like it's just insane yeah here we go a veil baseball cap yes i love it would it be really wearable dragging around probably not but we do see this trend continuing into the street style into the everyday fashion of the people who love to dress up from 
celebrities to like model of duty looks to just really big fashionistas just before a runway show we see them everywhere and styled in so many different ways it doesn't matter what's your style i'm pretty sure you'll be able to interpret it into what you wear daily let's move on to something a little bit more warmer for those colder months and colder areas I live in Canada, it's raining most of the time during the winter and uh, fall months, so we need warmth, we need our ears to be covered with rain. I, I live in BC, um, yeah, yeah. So some areas need like really heavy duty things for the snow. And we have some toques here, nothing special, maybe something with ears, like knitted maybe, something really chunky even, like we see in Ulta Zara here, those are huge statement hats. And being paired with something very elegant and like close to the body, which is a very big contrast and creates a lot of interests. We also see, of course, like regular binnies or toques, depending on your preference but I don't know like why would you wear a beanie it doesn't give you much warmth up there you know what I mean and we see some like monochromatic outfits from Max Mara but let's get up a little bit and for those super cold areas we have Ushanka which is basically a hat made out of maybe fur maybe faux fur and it is massive on their one ways at least it's not that big in real life like for everyday use gucci had more of a british me hat i have no idea the name oh i found it it's called bearskin am i correct people from the great britain please let me know if it is the in fact bearskin probably it should be said with an accent bearskin no no i'm sorry that i butchered that so bad <laughs> but i think that was our ostrich feathers anyways so brands like d squared burberry had these crazy outrageously enormous ushankas but like how where would you st store it for the rest of the year like instead of a pillow maybe it's a good idea anyways moving on a little bit more into the slavic aesthetic with the balaclava so balaclava is another one of those hats that came from ussr times and the name balaclava is actually a city that there was a war and then blah 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 anyways here it is we've seen this reemergence of this hat from 2022 and it's still here and i would like to say that it's probably the major trend of the season for hats everything else before it is very safe it's very kind of like it's okay baseball hats okay we can wear it right but these guys like the true fashionistas the like the core the core the people who don't really care about looking weird, uh, you know what I mean? We see Rock pairing up with Canada Goose when, in their jackets and in the balaclavas as well. We see Anta Prima having kind of these, are those hoods like, or is this a crazy turtleneck that turns into a hat? It is really cool, it is very like, wearable for people who need the warmth you know what i mean but like you just need to figure out how to style it on your own it is a very bold move i don't know like how far will this go will it be like completely mainstream or is it just going to be for those chosen brave fashionistas out there i would love to try something like this but i'm a little bit scared but I, and I don't have a hat like that. So I'm like really, really not there yet. <laughs> but we see these being from like really sporty into very dressy, like in Lan Vaughn right here. We have even like little florals or beadwork there as well. We also see some kind of a beadwork balaclava in Chanel. Undercover had these kind of a bowl hat things with a ring love it 
a little bit on a street style for my taste but i like to see it on the runways yeah anyways another look from jean paul gautier with kind of like a hat on a hat some examples of the street wearers we do see the gucci adidas collab here i love it we also see more like fuzzy ones more like almost a hood ones and i really like it it brings a very copenhagen kind of a fashion week vibe definitely maybe even berlin fashion week if you know what i mean like it's just screams that eclectic European style but I I yes I want to try this out but I don't know like am I am I special enough if you know what I mean <laughs> as I mentioned the hood like nature of those balaclavas we do see a lot of hoods on the runways I know those are not hats okay uh yes I agree but the abundance of them on the runways kind of suggests that this is a trend to kind of pay attention to we do see combinations of them with hats and again going from like more sporty ones like in y project and diesel into a little bit more elegant like in max mara we see hoods all over the place maybe it's a hoodie maybe it's a sweater maybe it's a coat maybe it's a hat that looks like it's a hood like in ralph simmons we also see that kind of a uh, hood hat situation in ante prima I think it should be pronounced Antibrima, but you know, I'm just showing off that I can roll my R's. Undercover also had a variety of them, maybe like poncho sweater thing and moving on into more classier ones, like a classy hoodie. It's like, wow, interesting. We also have more of like a cape gown situation with a hood and Ali Sab and a few of their gowns. And moving on into way more elegant territory with Balmain, Caperni, Jean-Paul Gaultier in the haute couture, having these hoods paired with, wait for it, wait for it, baseball caps. Yes, here they are. So, base, yes, baseball caps are a pretty big deal. You can see just how like they were paired with basically everything and i love it let's move on to hair accessories i would say not quite a hat but something that you would wear on your head and we see of course a variety of them nothing particular nothing too big of a trend if you like wearing headbands wear a headband Think about the textures that were popular on runways, maybe incorporate them into those accessories. Of course, we've seen Mugler show they had a lot of lace, like either on their forehead or maybe as a headband, hairband, sorry, headband. Yes, sorry, the third one. <laughs> we also see like little clasps or like little uh, accents of metal in their hair in shows like off-white uh, we also see balma having a center part accessory would love it chanel went into the flower realm which we see a lot of on the runways everywhere else but why not in the hair also gucci having a little bit of real flower in there dior had a headband with like gold leaves gold flowers so basically whatever floats your boat dolce gabbana had a huge feather thing and again returning to the hats and you see you see kind of bejeweled crowns princess tiaras on the hat itself i love the combination they are not meant to be together but they are and it's beautiful I I need to find my tiara. This comes to the end of the hat video. I decided to spread my accessories up just because whenever I did them in the past, it was like overbearing all of these accessories. The video would be like over an hour. So I was like, why not make my life easier? Spread these out. 
I will actually be able to be on time with creating the video and uh, people don't have to watch me for an hour talking really fast about things and not getting into depth. Yes. If you like this video, please like it. Maybe even share it if it's that good. I am hoping to grow, especially this year. It kind of will tell me, should I continue, should I not? So if you would like to see my channel stay on this platform, then please give it a little bit more support than you would usually do. I know that you guys have supported me so much in the comment section. I love seeing it and it's like kind of like, oh, so it's like not for nothing that I do these videos, you know? You know? Anyways, with your support, I'll be able to create better content and that is what I strive to do. If you'd like to see my everyday style, then I encourage you to check out my Instagram. It is here somewhere. Let me know down in the comments below which is your perfect go-to fall winter hat. I know it might be different for all. For me, it's something that will hide my dirty hair from wash to wash. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you're gonna have an amazing rest of the day. And yeah, stay classy. Bye. Any ideas?